Okay, setting is on the movie icon. Um, I've also attached a lens toolbox menu number two down to NTSC PAL. Um, you want to change to PAL. Um, right now it's asking, do I want to change to NTSC? I do not because I'm already in PAL. Um, I formatted the card um, while in PAL mode. You go to this screen to do the format. I've already done that. Starting on this menu, you'll see that some things are grayed out, like quality is um, not quite as bright as these other words. Um, this whole line is grayed out. Um, so just keep that in mind as, as I scroll through, you'll see, for example, on this screen, this is grayed out. On this screen, you'll make the first change. On this, you're gonna set to HD, uh, XAVC, you're gonna change it to 50P. Another setting that you should probably take care of first, or one of the next one to take care of is this one, APS-C on the gear menu, page six. You want this to be off. Camera menu, page six, picture profile. You're gonna hit the middle button to enter that menu and then scroll up to PP6, then hit the right side of the rotator, push it in uh, to essentially go to the right, and then you are, you are inside here. We're gonna go black level plus two. Um, I'm using that technique, hitting the, pushing the circle in, then um, tapping either left, right, up, down, um, depending on what I'm doing. I'm gonna change the gamma to uh, cine one, Black gamma should be middle and zero, so no change there. Uh, notice I'm hitting a menu to go back out of one of these sub-menus. Uh, so knee, uh, auto is fine. I'm just going to hit menu to go back out. Color mode uh, should be cinema. Saturation should be minus three. Color phase zero is fine. Color depth, uh, no change to these, should be all zero. Uh, and that's it. I'm going to hit menu here to go back. Once you're here on PP6, hit the middle to commit that. And you'll see down here on the screen it says PP6. On camera page 9 is where you change the audio recording level. It is menu based, unfortunately. Um, I typically set it to 17 to handle my outboard mixer, which puts out a strong signal. Gear page 4. This is very important. Um, you'll notice if I put my hand here, it senses, it thinks that's my face and it turns off the monitor automatically. I, I think that feature becomes uh, very difficult to use when you're on a live video shoot. Um, so I change it to manual um, monitor and then you'll see we do something else. Basically, we'll, we'll make one of the buttons on the outside of the camera um, uh, toggle. When you push it, it'll toggle between uh, using the the viewfinder or the monitor. They both cannot be on at the same time. You just choose which one you want to use using, um, as you'll see, we're going to set it so that the C2 button, which is really, for me, it was very natural to set that one up um, to swap between the monitors. So then go down to custom key settings and we're going to do custom button two, which is the one on the top labeled C2. And we're going to change that to the finder monitor, which is somewhere in here. This one, finder slash monitor select. It's really far down. Um, the other thing that I do is C3. I make the focus magnifier. right here. Now C3 is already labeled with a little reminder next to it with the focus magnifier um, icon. So here's C3. You just hit that um, at any time, whether you're viewing a photo in playback or shooting a video live, you can zoom in. Um, I'm not sure if that works during record. I think it does. The other thing I find useful is setting custom button four, which is the trash button down here. But of course, when you're uh, not playing back, when you are actually filming or about to film and you're in movie mode, C4 is, is uh, help, can be an extra button. And I set that to picture profile so that you can switch easily between the various picture profiles. Um, to be honest, on a shoot, the, the buttons I'm using the most are C1 and C2. White balance is actually makes actually a lot of sense for it to be there. 
Um, so I'm just going to hit it right now, C1. And then once you hit it, you just use the, you know, any one of these wheels that are on the machine, um, front, back wheel, or you can type in up or down here to, um, to visit the white balance or toggle between white balance settings. Um, of course, you can set, this is also where you set white balance, setting a custom white balance. Um, easiest way I know how to do it is switch to um, aperture priority photos and store it that way. So you switch to photo mode, then I'm gonna hit, because um, I've already just programmed it, I'm gonna hit C1, which gives me this menu. Then I'm gonna go down to custom set, and, and basically it's gonna want you to take a photo using not the shutter, but the middle, the enter button that you use for, uh, and it says that it picked up 2900K, and it's saying that you have the option to overwrite the register number one, or I'm gonna hit left and right here to scroll between them, and I can assign this to register one, two, or three. All three of those registers are currently set to 5500K. It automatically is going to um, set up um, the, I guess that's um, the, the M direction, a value of three. Uh, so it's actually a three-dimensional uh, white balance. You got the Kelvin and then these two, uh, two other dimensions. So I'm just going to hit um, enter the middle of the navigator to uh, store that value. Now when I hit C1, you'll see the third option there called custom three, which is also the same as register three, will be available for me to select um, using the enter button and it's reflected here on the on the screen. By default, the autofocus um, is triggered all the time, and you can't really switch into manual. You can only hold this uh, button down for a moment to go to manual focus. So, um, under custom key settings menu, uh, on page two of that menu, you're going to go down to AFMF button, which refers to the button here. Um, and instead of control hold, you're going to go to control toggle. And I much prefer this because it basically adds a button on the back of your camera to be able to switch between autofocus and manual focus. Okay, this camera allows for remote live streaming uh, monitoring wirelessly on um, your Android or iOS device. So it's great on a live shoot if you want to monitor a camera wirelessly. Um, I do recommend going here to edit the device name um, to something that's different than your other camera, if you have two cameras. So I'm just going to um, store a random name that's different than what my other camera is stored. Okay, the volume um, can be set in the menu if you, if you forget. It's right here. Okay, just a note that um, here on camera menu number five, there is an ISO menu. Um, by default, I think it's fine, but you should be aware that um, we'll be shooting in ISO auto, and it is limited to a minimum and a maximum, and these values are acceptable to me, um, but if you're trying to do some really low light stuff, you might be wondering why, you know, why it's not, why the ISO just isn't bumping up high enough, so you can always change it here, um, or just manually select a different ISO while you're shooting, which is done um, by hitting just the right button here where it says ISO and um, you can choose a manual ISO but I'm gonna do auto okay on the toolbox page 3 there is TCUB settings go in there and change the timecode run to free run I've done that on uh, this other camera as well Let's reset and try to sync up these two cameras. So we go to TC preset, which we want to um, set to zero now. And we're gonna, you see it says reset, hit the trash button. So this is what I do, it's good enough. Once you do that, it doesn't actually show you any message. Um, to leave this screen, you're gonna hit enter, the middle circle button. You also need to hit that button at the same time. Okay, so it's running. If you want to see it, you can change the display, um, but I don't like that. I like to see the counter when we are on a shoot because I want to know how close we are to the 29 minute recording limit. Okay, so I am going to go check now. I'm going to change the display to timecode on both cameras. 
and then I'm going to get out of the menu by hitting menu and you see it's running now and I'm going to just check both cameras to see how we're doing looks good